Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Allelu, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of Eucharist on this Friday morning. And we gather in faith the space that we inhabit today. Wherever you are, is a holy space. It's sacred ground. So we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of God's love this morning. Let's begin by calling to mind our sinfulness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading this morning. And grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you. And under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul stood up in the synagogue at Antioch and Basilia, held up a hand for silence and began to speak. My brothers, sons of Abraham's race, and all you who fear God, this message of salvation is meant for you. What the people of Jerusalem and their rulers did, though they did not realize it, was in fact to fulfill the prophecies read on every Sabbath. Though they found nothing to justify his death, they condemned him and asked Pilate to have him executed. When they had carried out everything that Scripture foretells about him, They took him down from the tree and buried him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who had accompanied him from Jerusalem, from Galilee. And it is these same companions of his who are now his witnesses before our people. We have come here to tell you the good news. It was to our ancestors that God made the promise. But it is to us, their children, that he has fulfilled it by raising Jesus from the dead. As scripture says in the first psalm, you are my son. Today I've become your father. The word of the Lord. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is you who have begotten this day. It is I who have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them, shatter them like a potter's jar. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Now, O kings, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with awe, and trembling, pay him your homage. You are my son, it is I who have begotten you this day. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. 
I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared your place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus has just declared to his disciples that he's going away. That he's leaving them. That he's going to the Father's house. And Thomas, the one disciple who we know is, we call him Darting Thomas. He's the one who has that courage to ask the question. Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus comes back and gives it straight. I I'm the way. I am the way. And that's one, one of the earliest terms for the first Christians were that they were described as followers of the way. We are those who take Jesus as our way. And in taking Jesus as our way, we find truth and life. We find God both in our life today and in eternity. I am the way, the truth, and the life. When we follow his way, we enter truth and life with God. And that's what you and I are called to today, to keep taking Jesus as our way. No matter what the worry, no matter what the sickness, no matter what the pain, the grief, and the worry, and the anxiety, how can we know the way? Jesus is the way. If we take Jesus as our way today, then we discover life. We discover truth. We discover eternity. So let's pray that we, in all the bits and pieces of our day, and all the words that we speak, and all the little experiences that we have, and all the people that we might encounter at a social distance, that we may take the way of Jesus in word and in deed. Let us pray for all those who take the way of Jesus in caring for those who are sick and broken and isolated, all those who are in pain, all those who are struggling with coronavirus. Let us pray for all carers. Let us pray that they will be filled with wonderful compassion, that they will have gentle hands, that they will be kept safe. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all those who feel lonely and anxious and afraid and worried this morning, that they may be reassured that God walks with them today. Lord, hear us. For all those who lead us in government, all those who make decisions for our community and our country, that they will make wise decisions, always respecting the dignity and caring for everyone. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for our dead, those who have died recently, those who have died as a result of coronavirus. Let us pray for all those who have died in the last 24 hours, that they may be all raised up to new life with Jesus in the kingdom of the saints. Lord, hear us. God, our Father, there are many prayers that are still silent in our hearts. We bring them before you today, knowing that you only give us the best, for we ask them all through Christ our Lord.
Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it would become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice this morning may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always to praise you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously with Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is now renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. And so filled with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they now acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We ask that sharing the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis our Pope, Noel our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles, St. Anne, and all the saints who plead you down the ages, that we may merit to be co-urged to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. 
Jesus taught us to call God Abba, Father. So now with confidence and trust, we can all say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's turn and acknowledge and wish peace on those who are closest to us now. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ our Lord has handed over, was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. we make our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. And we pray. Keep safe, Lord, those you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, he who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all wherever you are today and keep you safe, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives today. Have a good day, everyone. Stay safe. Now you probably want to go and wash your hands yet again. Let us sing in this month of May. When creation was begun, God had chosen you to be 
Mother of his blessed Son, Holy Mary, full of grace, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. When creation was restored, you were there beside the Lord, whom you cherished and adored, Holy Mary, full of grace. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria.